sumpasin ang pagkakataong makadiskwento. Hey homies, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So after receiving multiple emails and multiple comments about this one channel that I checked out about 10 months ago, they've now uploaded two new videos and of course we're going to go and check it back out. That is Channel 10 Manila. Now I said back 10 months ago and I'm still going to say it to this day that this analog horror series is by far the creepiest Filipino analog horror of all time. We've got some dancerama today. We've also got some leaked operation to check out with two videos. So let's go and dive in. Check out the creator if you enjoy this content and if you enjoy mine, like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the Philippines very shortly. The first video of two is called Leaked Operation September 1988 Channel 10 Manila. This was the airing day on September redacted 1988 at 3.06am. No information available except Channel 10 once had ties with the Department of National Mindset, a secret cabinet level government agency with unknown objectives. Is this kind of some sort of like Illuminati kind of situation maybe? I might be jumping into this a bit too much maybe right now. But that's just my opinion. You guys may have a different one. But make sure to like the video guys. If you enjoy this. And make sure to go and subscribe to Channel 10 Manila. We're back on Channel 10 Manila guys. This is the first video. Let's have a look. This sound is eerie though. I don't like it at all. Well, it stopped. Thank God for that. Ugh. I was on the level level, bro. Right, here we go. Channel 10 Manila. Let's go, bro. Whoa. We've got KBP, which I remember from previous videos. Death is coming. To who? Hopefully not me. Whoa. God, man, don't do that. I come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. We've got the Department of National Mindset. Okay. Let's have a quick look at this logo. So, this definitely kind of gives me, like, Illuminati vibes. Um, the main reason I think I say that is probably due to, like, the people. Like, so the hand is trying to grab people. Personally, I don't like being grabbed. And I'm sure you guys don't either. Or being, like, taken away. So... Is that kind of where it's at? Or I, I don't know. It, it, like I say, it gives me Illuminati vibes though. Oh, bro, that kind of background affects my eyes. If you stare at that for too long, it can actually mess with your eyes. I don't like that. Let's just keep going, man. I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it. All right, so we've got now a, a figure or a person and a deputy broadcast monitoring head. Now we've got two of them. Okay, I guess two, or, two is always better than one. We've got an undated report, and it says request for deletion of archive. Any trace of, I think that's, see, on my screen, it's a bit blurry because I have it in, like, full screen. But if I look at my other screen, which I can do, it says any trace of Al, I think it's, like, Burka Vet. And then there's, like, a number, and it says effective immediately. So I guess you, if you get a trace of that, you delete it, I think. It gets archived, it gets, you get, delete it, maybe. But that person looks a bit possessed. Got a rose in their hand. The smile's very creepy. Have they been taken over or something, maybe? If you guys know a bit more about this, then, you know, go ahead and let me know who this person is. But, uh, yeah, she gives me creepy vibes and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's horrible. I would die if I woke up next to someone like that. Oh, don't do that. Okay, we've got an eye test now. Okay, so is that a balloon in the background? I think so. Blurry. Whoa. Oh my god, who's that? What is that? Is that a person? I think that is a person, bro. But I don't know who that is. But it looks like it's in the eye test. So you, you've seen the you've seen the balloon. I'm assuming it's a balloon, by the way. I could be wrong. And then it goes into the second, like, sort of clicker. And then you have the blurry. Then you get the third and it comes back a bit more zoomed in by the looks of it. And then on the fourth. You've still got the sort of circle outline, and then you see a face of some person. I think it's a man, a figure of someone. Who it is, I got no idea. But that was a bit 
creepy, mate. I don't like that. If I went, if I had to do an eye test and I saw this person, I think I'd be running out of the room. And that's me being very honest. I'm sure you guys probably would too, to be fair, but there we are. I'm never getting an eye tester ever again. Archi archivist, videotape operator. No trace of EB success. So is that that woman from before? What? Oh, God. Can you stop with these? Oh, no. You give me a headache. Oh. Why is it red? a red background now? Whoa. Whoa, there were some eyes there. What was that? Can I get a still? I was able to get a still, which took me a couple of minutes because it was a nightmare because it was so quick. But we got some eyes here. Which I kind of feel like, are these the eyes of that person from the woman from before? Could be wrong here, but no, I don't think so. They definitely look different, at least to me. Then I did kind of think, well, maybe they could be from that person here. But again, I don't know. But imagine having an eye test and going through all this to see that. So when also at the end there, when they've so we're going to skip to it here. So you guys don't have to hear the volume about it. I'm trying to kind of sort of, you know, theorize this as much as I can to a degree, because there isn't really much to go off at this point on this on this video right now. But it says EB success so no trace of EB success. So was that EB? Now, I'm feeling this EB might be the person from here. And I think it might be because it's like E. Whoever that surname is, like I say, I can't really see it too well. It, it's quite blurry for me. You guys might see it better than I do, but I think that is what the EB is on here. So the no trace of EB. And then you've got this woman. Who I mean, This is who the, they are. So are they some like, e are they evil or something maybe? There's definitely something to it. You guys might know a bit more. Again, I don't know if it's like, a this is like a Filipino figure. This woman may well be. I don't know so much about, you know, the Philippines in regards to like celebrities or whatever. So you guys might know a bit more than me. But if you do, let me know in the comments and talk about it because I would love to know. We're going to move on to video two next. Second video today is called Dancerama Bill Sakor promo September 1988. Now, I've probably said Phil Sakor wrong and I probably am, but hopefully I'm right. But if I'm wrong, let me know. The airing date is September 22nd, 1988 at 11.39 p.m. So at least on this video, we know exactly the airing date. Not like the previous one that was redacted. So Katie Katie's original entertainment program, Dancerama, credits banking sponsors with Phil Sakor. Again, I hope I'm saying this right. Commercial featuring Sakaki... Sanchez with her testimonial for Bill Sakor appliances to back up the launch of its newest TV set, Mali Gaia T T666 model. Now the 666 kind of gives me devil vibes, but anyway, that's just me. Is this a possessed? Maybe. The TV, however, became the most questionable product of the company, uh, citing demonic effects to owners. Wow, the 666 in the model kind of gives that away. And I actually said that before reading the other part. So maybe I was right. <laughs> right, anyway, like and subscribe as well on this video if you enjoy it. And uh, we're going to dive into this one now. So we're moving on to video two with some Dancerama, baby. We're going to get it going. Oh, I love a bit of dancing, bro. Sorry, I'm probably getting into this bit too much, you know. Well, I'll stop now. Special thanks to Faces Disco Makati. Okay, so Makati's a location in the Philippines. I know of that. Special thanks to Sarsi, whoever that is. Special thanks to Lager Light. Okay. So they're thanking the sponsors from what the description was saying. I really want to go here and party now, though. I don't know about you guys. Might get my dance on a bit more. <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> Anyway, let's keep going. Dance Rama, All Rights Reserved, 1988. The Channel 10 had a lot of, like, different programs on it, man, I tell you. Like, over the years. Well, no, what? What is she... Oh, what's going to her head? 
Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. What the frick? Can we just go back to that? Like, well, we saw a face there, but let's just go back to this really quickly a second. What the frick? Like, what is happening, man? Like, that, look, that it look, does look demonic. And I think we cut, I did kind of skip on a small face a second ago, which we're going to see in a second. But what the frick is that? It's like they got Tourette's or something. I mean, I have, so I get that. But like, sorry, what? This TV might be good for me. <laughs> I could be the sponsor because of my Tourette's, you know, it's doing this all the time. And by the way, I do legit have it. So just to clarify, but yeah, damn. Maybe Rat should be the new sponsor of uh, Ilsacore. Well, I don't want a discount. I don't want a discount. I don't want a discount. At bumilina ng Filsacor Maligaya T666 television set sa halagang 1849 pesos. Subukan ng maibigan ang Maligaya T666 mula sa I don't think you would want to buy it though. Why? I don't understand why somebody would buy it when they see that the that face, you also then see the thing bef the person before like going crazy with their head. You've got triple six in it as well. It just comes across demonic, at least to me. But then would it come across demonic to a normal person that doesn't really watch horror or doesn't really know much about the whole sort of like demonic situation with the 666? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it does look quite good, though. Very old school. I mean, it's 1988, so no wonder. I can get like a, if I can get one for free, I may think about it. If you're going to make me pay for it, you can... No. No, thank you. I don't know what that red thing up the top right popped up there. I don't know if that was something, but... Whoa, hello. What the frick? Hi. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That was a bit creepy, man. I don't like that. What the hell? Did... I don't know what that said. Whoa, stop it. Oh, can you stop doing that? Bro, that was, that was horrible. Oh, what did that just say? Just got something here. Now, I had to kind of skip through this a little bit, so you might have seen a small edit there. I don't actually know what that says, but if anyone wants to put it in to the comments, you can. That would be amazing. I think it's something along the lines that there's been like a, a situation on the TV and there's been an error in the broadcast. That's what it looks like to me, at least from what I can work out with the English part of it. But yeah, so hmm, it was very demonic. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, but look at that. That's next level creepy. You then it just I mean, just this face here is like the worst. You got one eye closed or well, they've got one eye. That face. Oh, very analog horror, -y, though, I will say because <laughs> it is. Um. But yeah, I st it's this bit here that I can't get over. Like this, it's just creepy, bro. Like that is such a good quality, like part of the video. And that's probably the one that bit that creeps me out the most of how they're just randomly got all this tech here, you know, and uh, they're just going nuts. Just crazy. But that was pretty much all the video, I think. There isn't really much more to it. But that was Channel 10 Manila, guys. That was the second video, Dancer Armor. I definitely had a good dance at the start, and then we got a bit demonic at the end. Let's dive into some analysis and, I guess, an outro. There we are, guys. That was the Channel 10 Manila second reaction by me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed the two videos that we saw today. Uh, they were creepy, they were edgy and eerie, the quality was there from the previous videos. The only thing for me is I do kind of wish they were a bit longer, but as we've always said, it is quality over quantity, and the quality was there, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, the two videos were definitely on another level. Uh, the whole TV thing with the demonic thing kind of creeped me out, and the faces we saw were horrible. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight, and uh, yeah, they were quite vile. Uh, to be perfectly honest. I did have a good dance off though and I hope you guys got your dancing shoes on because that was actually quite fun uh, to make the analog horror a bit less creepy at the start. 
Uh, the first video was definitely next level. That woman, uh, E something, was very creepy. Uh, the face, his faces that always get to me, and I think you guys might agree. It might be just it's always an analog horror vibe, isn't it? That you always have the creepy faces, and I mean sometimes I think they're overdone, but for this it, it, it wasn't, and that's my own opinion. You guys might have a different one to me, but there we are. But like other than that, I always did kind of feel that Channel 10 Manila did have a, some sort of story. But now that I've watched them two videos, I kind of feel like maybe it doesn't. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. If there's anything in these two videos, guys, that I did miss and that you want to kind of let everybody know and or let me know, <clears throat> then please put it in the comments and let me know because I would really appreciate it. If you guys also know of any other Filipino analog horrors like Channel 10, then please do send it through to me on my form check out the description for more information if you guys have not subscribed to channel 10 manila then make sure to go and check them out like and subscribe on their videos as i've said previously if you enjoyed my reaction please do the same i'm very glad that i've been able to come back to channel 10 the video the previous video has actually been doing very well on youtube recently because of the new uploads and i knew that you guys would want me to get this out and obviously had you, you had been contacting me i thought i'd get this out as soon as possible so thank you for watching guys i hope you had a great time and i'll see you guys on the next video keep it locked peace out and leave me alone